Next task, brakes. Well, at least the rear drum brake. It consists of the drum. You have the wire for the hand brake, which is connected here to a rod that uh, opens the shoe inside. So you need to take off this protection cup. Behind it is the bearing, and behind that it should be possible to take the whole drum off if everything is kind of loose and it seems to be more or less good. So that will be my next task. So tools needed, of course. So I use a couple of screwdrivers and I start to tap along. There are some special tools, most people do not have them, I certainly don't. You can also hit something like that and try to get it out, but I'll start simpler by tapping in between the protection cap and uh, the drum itself. to move slowly. This movement now. There we are. That's the cup. In here is a spline. It needs to be taken off. So then I need pliers. That's the next tool I'm going to get. So with the pliers to find the thing. it's here and it goes down so let's see if we can tilt So that's the busted. Nah, it's not a busted. It's mandatory to be there. Let's see if we can take off this one. There we are. Ah, oh, come on. It's so greasy. Put that aside. So now there is a locker bolt. Uh, not. That must be taken off and then should be possible to take the whole thing out. So that knot requires another two. Uh, I think it's the 24 socket. Yeah, it is. Just like that, it shouldn't be tight, as there is a wheel bearing inside. If it's too tight, then it wears out the wheel bearing very fast. And creates. I try to collect all this in one spot, not to get too much dirt inside. So I put it in the cup. So there we are, with all. And then minus. So let's try the banal way. Just. Take it off. Nah. Didn't want to. Okay, for this I have tools. So for this, I actually have a tool. I don't have too many of those. You could probably try with a pry bar or something and put it in the bin, but it's very easy to damage the back plate. Don't like it, well maybe it actually comes. Let's see. Uh, yeah, got it off. 
Here we are. Everything good. So this is how it looks inside. Dirty. I'll clean that up. Make everything good. Actually take off the whole plate. Uh, redo the master cylinder here. Well, how much was it? Why is there kind of an oily? Okay, maybe it's a leakage from the... Oh, this looks like it needs to be exchanged. Back side isn't too good. So there will be definitely some small work to do. So these pins, you twist the side and take off the one, one on each side. Then you have to pull up the feathers. This spring, spring here, this spring here. And, and then all the brake pads should be possible to take off. This also needs to be taken off. So that's just to unhook it here, but I need to take off this first and then pull it back. And there's a slot, as you see there, under where the wire comes out and you can take it off. Just push it aside until it snaps off. Then it's the first shoe. I'm not happy with this at all. There seems to be some moisture. I saw it inside the drum as well. Okay, I'll adjust that later. Second one, there's the last. On the back, there. Oops. Those two. That's the last spring. And now this can be. There's also a spring to get that one off. Is easy. And this should be. I don't remember. This you can't get out, it's kind of a hose with something here, but well, you can get it out, but I do not bother. Uh, there's a rubber ceiling to prevent anything coming inside. These two can be taken out. It should be dressed up a bit. This task now is to try to get off. And it's millimeter ten and eight in the back. It's difficult to see here, but so it's ten and ten. I'm always afraid of going in. because it's not good but <coughs> I don't want to do 
müssen jetzt Drain the line here. So this is here. I should take this off as so it must be replaced. Try to the brakes inside. I think I'll change the hoses. It's probably from the car was new. Magic tool. So next, these four bolts. Uh, the thing is that there's a backing plate that covers two of them. So you need to loosen that one and that one. Take off the plate, and then you can take off the last two screws. I'm not sure. No, I want to use a socket on that one. 14, I think it was. with some tools. So that's, see there's an elevated color protector on each side. Then I'm gonna take off the last two. So good. So, um, <laughs> new glass. Okay. Actually, you see that the spindle came with it. I didn't want that. I want actually to take that off. Okay. Investigate. Okay, so what I did, I put it down on the bench like that and hammered, tapped slightly around till it came off. So here we have it. Next, will be to start on these uh, bolts or nuts holding the brake. So it will be interesting to see what I find inside there but I would like to add some 
fest. Machen wir das fest. Just a pointy thing with a small hole on the side where the brake fluid can come out. Oh, maybe I'll just clean it up on the side. Go faster with the socket. That will probably use longer time. Go and find it. So there are nuts are off. There are two pushers. Easily lost. Just don't care. Break it. So here we are. Next, now we need to try to get this caliper out of here. It's whatever you call. Is it the brake cylinder? Caliper is the up front, I think. So let's start to clean it up a bit. Uh, I have my little super tray, my old toothbrush. You can take any toothbrush. Well, okay, do not take your wife's toothbrush. That might be a problem. Uh, if you have a kid brother or a kid sister, then that will go in handy, I believe. So I'll just spray it here with. So, the next task, one of them was moving for sure, that's this one, goes in, this one seems stuck, okay, so to get this one out would be good, let's open here, and it should be possible just to pull it out. I thought. Okay. There we are. So it must be cleaned up inside. Spring is good goes like that, pushes out, and then we need to try to get one inside there out. That should be possible with something to put in and just tap it.
There we are. Okay. Both of them out. Next I need to do now is to clean it. Okay, clean up. Um, so I never throw away old underwear. It's fantastic for anything that needs to be cleaned. So a bit of corrosion here and there. This might just be dirt, but of course I have 180 for outer. That might be good. Not going to polish this. Anyway, it will be hidden behind the drum. I want to see it as long as it looks good or look proper, it should be alright. The sealer in here should be good, and inside it must be good. So, I do not have any honing tool for this. We have these special stones. Do not have that. I have for engine cylinder, but not like this one. So I use 1200. I have a bit of water. And I simply ground it inside. So, the, well, I wouldn't say dangerous, but what you could experience is that you will make it uneven inside. And then the seal won't work as well as it's supposed to, and you will get a leakage. But it didn't look bad inside at all, so I just didn't give it a gentle scrub. Like that, so it should be good inside there now. Oh, there is one little, but okay, it's inside. Not sure if you see it, but I believe that it is beyond the movement of. Yeah, it is. So it shouldn't be a problem. The sealer is here, so I'll do the same here. Open, you can take this off to save it. Still 1200, so it's very fine. Try not to rub too much on the rubber gasket. It's done. It's now ready to be mounted back, but I will not mount anything back on this one as it looks now. So this is the next. So I need to let me get away some of the stuff in here. Like that. There is supposed to be. Up there. As you see here, there are four small recesses or lips, or whatever you want to call it. If I take those off, two, three, and four. Like that, and we can take this thing off to here. It would probably be possible to take it all off, but I will leave this in a
there we are and save this rubber by pulling it off clean that up clean this up so there's now only metal okay one well, that spring can actually just stay I'll go over remove a bit of the loose stuff here and then when that is done let me go into my electrolysis doesn't look fantastic now but I use my old computer uh, charger well I don't have that computer anymore but the charger was left behind gives 19 volts and then I add it with these two connectors minus on what I want to be cleaned and plus to the iron that is already in so that will rust as hell so that's the next step so I think we are pretty close to where I wanted to be this is cause if you should do more but uh, it's difficult to get access without destroying the oil seal so it looks almost good well okay it's a drum break and you know it's going to rust but okay so cool so nice so far okay so we are in Norway I would like to have a bit of color on this one but as it's five degrees outside, maybe eight inside Celsius. Something needs to be added, so I'll simply warm up the drum a bit before I paint it. Scary, huh? So what I use is simple motor. I think it will stand 150 degrees. Definitely, if it works. Okay. So let's see if we can find something that works. Also from another spray can. Well, something comes out of it. Doesn't look good. Okay. Anyway, it's only a break. Come on. Give me a break. Huh? So I ended up. Well, actually, the can was empty. I had to take a new one. So now it should be done. We'll dry up, ready to be installed. My here it's already starting to happen something better than 20 minutes ago. See, so it will be cool, but that will have to stay till tomorrow. So, next day, it looks dirty inside, huh? So, I'll take it out now and then we'll see. Connect. I've unplugged the cable there. Then I should be able to pull the string out and see what we got. So, still dirty. I'll scrub it up a bit here and then we'll see the final result. After about five minutes of cleanup, I used my steel brush on my battery drill and just a brush. And I would say that the result is definitely a lot better. So this has been about 20 hours in the electrolyte. And this is still just coming out of black steel so 
next I will do now is to paint it up with primer and probably some easy paint black and it will be ready to put be put back even the software is looking different good result so primer is added got the coat on the back side and the next will be to get some color on it there we have it paint it black to dry up now then it's ready to be mounted again so that's how I do the whole thing <laughs>